welcome along to another West Wales Karting virtual race here today at the Autodromo Internazionale Enzo Edino Ferrari Imola. And it's a 3.05 mile circuit, 17 turns of the historic track layout in the LMP2 cars. It's round three, oh no, round two, sorry, today of the LMP2 Euro Championship that we're running. You can see a great uh, image there of the LMP2 cars. That's Stuart Davis's car, I believe, who is leading the championship as we head into this round, courtesy of his win in round one at the Algarve. And it's going to be a very competitive field today. We've got 10 drivers involved and we're looking at the starting grid now. Let's see how they got in in qualifying. It's Alex Adl, who playing pole position once again, and he's found some serious pace at the circuit, and now qualifying second place, Mans Gudria Sam, by nearly 0 .7, 10, 0 0.7 of a second there, ahead of Chris Doherty in third, Crazy Stuport and Stuart Davis, the two Stuarts lining up fourth and fifth. Cherry Berry's back for action this round, Alex Brown, and we're waiting on the grid now, it's a night start, so it might be a little bit tricky to see the cars. Oh, and it's a jump start from a number of drivers there as they leave the grid. That's Gudria Sam streaking into the lead, but he's jumped the start, and Alex Hill starting into second, in place, Big Bad Wolf must have jumped the start even more as he goes down the inside because he's up to uh, second from eighth on the grid. Oh, carnage! That's uh, Stuart Davis round. He's uh, clipped Alex Brown there as well. Alex Brown in the banana car now getting going again and Stuart Davis has dropped down to tenth and last place as they come out of the uh, uh, first corner, Tamburello Chicane, now heading into the uh, Variante. Uh, Villeneuve and that's Cherry Berry off in the green car and he's forgot to put his lights on by the looks of it as they head into the Tosa hairpin now and Cherry Berry's up to fourth he's got the jump on uh, Crazy Stewpot in the Marek there who's running wide coming out of Tosa and up the hill they head it's Gudria Sam leading Big Bad Wolf second both of those cars have jump starts and penalties to take so drive through penalties coming for those two so the net leader will be Alex CDL just ahead of Cherry Berry and uh, then we've got Crazy Stewpot Chris Doherty had a little bit of a slower start he's gone down to sixth, D-Man is seventh, Alex EDL eighth, uh, Lupi McGee is up there into ninth and he's ahead of Stuart Davis so a lot of work now to do for the championship leader. Yes, yeah, looking like it's now break himself into turn one I think but Scuderia Sam he's gone off like an absolute rocket into the lead he's thinking I've uh, got this penalty now clear air in front of me I need to make hay while the sun shines uh, even though the sun hasn't even risen yet here at Imola. but uh, no there he is look at that already coming out of Ravats onto the main straight so we'll see him dart off to the left now uh, for the drive-through penalty, there he goes, and Big Bad Wolf should be following, and yes, he is behind. So that's uh, in you come, you naughty boys. You can now watch all the other cars come flying past as Cherry Berry, well, he's trying to get the lights to work. I'm not quite sure what he's doing, unless he's trying to give uh, Alex CDL ahead of him uh, an epileptic fit. But uh, here's Loopy Mugg the newcomer. He's in his second race, so he's got Stuart Davis coming down the outside of him, down the main straight. And uh, it's quite difficult visibility, yeah, visibility wise in order to see each other there. But here they go into the first clean. Stuart Davis got that move done, I think. A little, oh, bit, yeah, of a little bit of a clip there, but uh, yeah, he's got through and Lupin Ritchie takes to the grass a little bit. And uh, he's getting on his way again now. And Stuart Davis now is uh, making up some ground as we've got also Chris Doherty at a jump start look. Even though he didn't actually make up that much ground on the grid, he's actually, uh, yeah, he's had a jump start and he's back down to 10th place now. So we're looking at Scuderia Sam there. He's on a charge. He's out of the pits and so is Big Bad Wolf now. So we'll see how those drivers make up for lost ground as they head through uh, the first chicane there now. And uh, so yeah, Alex CDL leading uh, from pole position. Cherry Berry though is hunting him down, isn't he? And you can see how hard Cherry Berry's pushing. He hasn't been racing uh, recently, uh, but he's really pushing. He's on a charge now. Look at him flashing the lights there. He's like, I'm coming for you. And the crazy Stewpot as well, ever in the background there, waiting to pick off any scraps. Yeah, that's it. And here's Alex Brown and D-Man 221. Alex got a lot of ground to make up in the championship as well after his uh, double penalty at the Algarve after, uh, well, quite frankly, he just driving into Sam, uh, Scuderia Sam over and over again and uh, here he is now following D-Man 221 down into Ravazza so yeah sort of dark start here but we will be seeing the sunrise over the next few laps so we will be able to see the cars a little bit clearer see who, who's where and what they're doing and uh, Alex CDL comes across to finish lap 2 still in the lead Cherry Berry's behind he's got a good pace isn't he Cherry Berry it's a shame he didn't race at the Algarve otherwise he'd sort of be a real favourite for the championship I think yeah, absolutely. He's really putting pressure here, look, on uh, Alex CDL. And look how close it's getting now. We know Alex is quick in qualifying, but he's lacked a little bit of race pace in comparison. Of course, say lack in race pace, he's leading the race, but 
He's uh, certainly closed up the field, isn't it? A lot, it's a lot closer than it was in qualifying, where he was about one and a half seconds quicker than Cherry Berry's best time. And Alex Udiel now, oh, look, Cherry Berry's looking down the inside, and he's got the inside line now, coming out of Tosa. And Cherry Berry now up the hill, but he uh, he lost a little bit of momentum there, and it's Alex Udiel back ahead, looking <laughs> the lights go in. Uh, do you think that really helps, too, flashing the lights? Oh, I don't know. I personally try to... Oh! Yeah, that's Alex Udiel round. Yes, he lost the back end, and uh, that's Cherry Berry into the lead, so perhaps those lights do work after all. Quite possibly, and that's, uh, well, they were both slightly off the track there, but it looks like Alex was sort of riding the kerb, and round he went. Very, uh, well, you kind of come to expect it from Alex, don't you, to a certain degree, but that was real shame to spin out of the lead like that. He's got a lot of ground to make up here again. Another driver had a bit of a rough race in uh, Algarve, and I think that was Stuart Davis getting ahead of D-Man there as well. I don't know if D-Man made a mistake, but there's Alex through the, uh, uh, is that the Barrianta Alta there? Uh, who's he ahead of now? It's difficult to see in the dark there. He's got... That's Stuart Davis behind him. I think it is, isn't it? Yes, Stuart Davis it is, yeah, closing in on Alex. Oh, and Alex gets a bit out of shape, and uh, is that... Oh no, it was Alex. It was the two Alexes, the two Alexes are battling. And uh, Alex Brown actually had a really good start, and he was looking like he was going to slot into fourth place off the grid. Oh, it's Chris Doherty round, he's taken off the front bumper, and it's, uh, you can't even see the headlights. There's another car involved there, Stuart, isn't there? That's, that's Big Bad Wolf, is it? Black car? Black car, no headlights, we've got no chance of seeing him. No, I think it's, yeah, it is, Big Bad Wolf, look. There, he, there he is. Oh, what happened? What on earth happened there? Carnage. Carnage happened, and it's getting light now, so we might be able to see the full extent of that carnage. Uh, Big Bad Wolf is missing his headlights and his bumper, for sure, uh, and he's down in 10th now. So, he was just behind Scuderia Sam coming into the pits, and he's already dropped over 20 seconds to him. Scuderia Sam's closing quickly now on Loopy McGee as they head through the Variante, Villeneuve, Chicane into Tosa, and Scuderia Sam's got the inside line now, and he takes that position as Loopy McGee runs a little bit wide. I think he was just getting out of the way there, wasn't he? Probably not his race today. Um, Loopy McGee, he's going to be trying to hold back Chris, and... Uh, Big Bad Wolf when they come through, and maybe, just maybe, he'll have a chance later on in the race at closing up to some of the other runners. Uh, uh, fourth, uh, Alex Brown there, maybe drop back a little bit, depends what happens. Yeah, it'd be nice yeah, to see Loopy McGee. Yeah, it's to be a good race so far. Yeah, yeah I'd yeah, say definitely. it'd be nice to see Loopy get uh, further up the field. It's always good when some of the newer drivers uh, get to get in the mix with some of the other, other regulars. Absolutely, absolutely, yes. And Alex Brown, he's, uh, he said before this race, he vowed to have a, I quote, a cleaner race. So well, he couldn't have a much dirtier race, could he? <laughs> I think he, he was involved in all the action. Oh, time. he's off! Yeah, that's the second time in two laps I think he's done that. He lost the position to Alex Udiel on the last lap, but now he's lost more positions to Stuart Davis and D-Man. So unfortunately for Alex there, he's just he's just clipped the grass, I think, didn't he? And just lit up the rear. These cars, as we saw in Algarve, they're very easy to light up the, uh, the rears, aren't they? And uh, round they go. Yeah, it's easier, especially down to Ravazza there. There's not a lot of grip there in between the two left-handers. Can be a bit tricky as Cherry Berry having no such problems. He's got a nice gap now back to Crazy wow. Stewpot. Look at the lead he's got. Yeah, he's Crazy Stewpot. He's not been as crazy as maybe you'd expect sometimes. He, he's got a grip of these LMP2s. He's not the fastest, but he's consistent. And uh, it'd be nice that, yeah, if Stewpot can maximise this opportunity today, that'd be two good results. And Cherry Berry, of course, missed a race, but if he could win this one, and with Stuart Davis sort of longing about in, uh, well, he's up to fourth now, actually, after his spin at the start. It's uh, certainly could close the championship up quite nicely. It could do, but Stuart Davis is not going to agree with that. He's actually uh, pushing very hard. Look at the recovery drive. Like you say, he's up to fourth already now, but I think he might be finding it difficult to make any further ground, as we had two cars battling in the background just then. And uh, who was that? That's good rear Sam just behind. Uh, oh, we got D-Man. 2-1, Alex Brown battling. And Alex Brown ran a little bit wide there, trying to trying to wrong foot D-Man. And instead he's wrong footed himself. And good rear Sam's got through. So <laughs> Alex Brown and good rear Sam together. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, who knows? But here we go. Good rear Sam's got a run on D-Man. And Stuart Davis will be watching this timing screens now thinking, go on, let's just see those numbers get bigger. But no, they go down to Ravazzo. Is good rear Sam going to make a move? Oh, they made contact. Oh, that's diff. Ooh, I think D-Man just helped manage to hold it. That was sort of tricky there. I think he broke a bit earlier than Scuderia Sam thought. And uh, he's lost his rear wing. Of course, it won't affect him, of course, with uh, it's just, just visible damage on in this race. But Sam's got a bit of a run on him. Now is it going to go down into the Tamborello's chicane? 
And uh, one here, we're going to have three into one, doesn't go, or is it going to be sort of a clean move here? Scurious Sam's up the inside late on the brakes. And he's got it done. Like, oh, Alex! Alex Brown there, I think he just tried to follow through on uh, Scuderia Sam's move and instead uh, he probably followed through as he hit uh, D-Man's car. Uh, new trousers for D-Man 221. Yeah indeed and there's bodywork all over the Tamburello chicane now. And, uh, but anyway they carry on and uh, of course like you said just visual damage and it's not going to affect whether they finish this race or not. Uh, Cherry Berry doesn't care about that though, he's on his way in this 20 minute race, we're approaching halfway already, such as the uh, pace of this race so far, action all everywhere you look, and one of the, surely one of the best tracks uh, on uh, Project Cars 2, it's an absolutely fantastic track isn't it Stu, but very tricky as well, it rewards attacking driving. It does yeah, although you don't want to attack the, uh, the Barrianta Alta chicane too much, you end up taking off in these cars, uh, those curbs, what are they, about 8 foot high, something like that? <laughs> You'll see now, is, me, anyway. uh, if we stay with these two guys now coming up to the chicane, you'll see what I mean. It's uh, yeah, seriously bumpy coming through here. You sort of wonder how they don't just wreck the bottom of the cars. And over they go. And yeah, you're much better off avoiding that second uh, left-hand curve and riding the first bit, because that second left-hand curve will really spit you out wide if you're not careful. And you'll lose time then coming down into this corner here, which is one of the best overtaking spots. And Chris Dalty knows it. He's going around the outside. There's a lot of grip around the outside there. But uh, Lupin McGee covered it well. Oh, no, but he's taken his LMP2 car for some rally cross, and it won't like that. And now uh, Chris Dalty says, thank you. I will have eighth position, and I will try my best now to get after Alex Brown, who is uh, just, well, less than five seconds up the road, actually, is Alex Brown. After a couple of mistakes there, he's actually lost a lot of ground after running quite high up in the early stages of this race. So we could be seeing a battle shortly between Alex and Chris, and uh, he's in an island sandwich at the moment, is Alex Brown. Yeah, that's it. And uh, I'll tell you, the sort of starting grid at the, after the first lap was turned on its head. Now the positions at the end of lap two are completely turned on their head as well. It's absolute... Well, you just take your eyes off that, those names in the top left corner of the screen there, and blink and you miss it, and just stuff changes, and... Who's this now? Stuart Davis we're on board with as he's coming up the hill to the chicane we were just talking about. Yeah, great onboard shot there through Aqua Minerali, one of the hardest corners, one of the fastest couple of corners on the circuit, very difficult to get right, very fast, and through the chicane there, very nice line indeed, running a little bit wide, but all the drivers do that, because uh, it just spits you out a bit, doesn't it, coming out of that corner, and he's heading down the hill now, he's looking in his mirrors, and this is one of the great comeback drivers of this race, Stuart Davis, but he's got another great comeback driver of this race, in Scuderia Sam just behind him, hasn't he, so it's going to be a great battle before long. Yeah, I think so. Sam's driving like a man possessed. He's got at least a couple of seconds a lap quicker than Stuart. I don't know where that time's coming from, but I do think a lot of the drivers... There's a big gulf in sort of outright pace between a lot of the drivers on, uh, at this track for some reason. I don't know if, it again, it could be some of the kerbs sort of catching drivers out, or... There's a lot of different types of corners on this track, and here is Alex Brown and D-Man 221. Again, what could possibly go wrong is round two as they come down over the start-finish line. And uh, it's looking like... Alex, yeah, you might have the legs on the number 42 Irish car there. Yeah, quite possibly now they're going into Tamburello and Alex Brown has the inside line and he's going to nab that position away. Demon sees him coming and he's going to try and get a better exit, but Alex Brown manages to get an okay exit as well. And now they're heading out of Tamburello and Demon is definitely close to him, but there's no way to overtake through the quick Villeneuve Chicane. He's better off waiting for the Tosa hairpin, trying to stick close through here now. But he's lost a little bit too much ground, I think. And D-Man 2 to one's having a bit of a quiet race, to be honest. After being in uh, second place and actually hunting Stu Davis for the lead at the Algarve, he's down there in seventh. He's running wide again, look. He's been closed in by Chris Doherty. And he just seems to be a little bit uh, off the pace at this track compared to the first one. But he's seriously a competitor in this championship, isn't he still? Yeah, certainly. And, well, Chris as well. He, of course, finished third at the Algarve. Both Absolutely, yeah. Good drives there, but yeah, not quite sure what's happening to well, especially D Man. Chris seems to be doing okay, but uh, yeah, two very quick Irishmen there, and up the hill they go. And I'm expecting Chris maybe is he gonna have a look at a dive bomb into the chicane? Or, no, it could be a bit too far back, maybe. Yeah, there we are, nice yeah, and sensible on the brakes. There they yeah, go. good exit from both of them. Who's gonna get to Ravazza first? It's in the slipstream heading downhill, and you would probably bet your money on Chris 
uh, pressurizing D-Man down into this corner here. Well, what's going to happen? Is he going to dive down the inside? He's looking for it, but he didn't quite get it that time. There's a lot of grip around the outside there, actually. You can sometimes make the other guy go defensive and just drive clean around the outside. And talking about driving clean around the outside, this is Goodrich Sam looking for a, a passing opportunity now on Stuart Davis. But Stuart is one of the best defenders in the business. He's trying to distract Stuart as they go through the Villeneuve chicane, isn't he? And they're going to go into Tosa now. Yeah, that's it. And they go coming along, coming down into the chicane. Sam's on the outside. He's gone to the inside, trying to wrong foot him. Stuart goes around, sticks on the apex there. And off they go then. Sam's pushed him wide. Yeah, Stuart Davis just delaying, getting on the throttle. They're going out of Tosa Hairpin. And now they're side by side. And Stuart might be thinking, you don't deserve to be there. But uh, he's going to try and squeeze him to the grass. Look. And Stuart Davis going around the outside. They're making contact, rubbing wheels. And they're going through the very quick Peratella corner now. Down the hill to Akramirali. Still side by side. Spoilers flying everywhere. And Scudrius Sam around the outside. Stuart Davis on the inside, coming out of Ascari now. Uh, sorry, coming out of Akramirali. And they make contact again, coming out of it. And now they're heading into the Alta Chicane. And Scudrius Sam's just ahead of Stewart, but Stewart's going to be looking to get that position back very quickly. Oh, flying through the air is the bucking bronco of Stuart Davis's car. And then they're coming down the hill now. Is Stewart going to have a look? What do you make of that, Stuart? Uh, it's tricky to judge. It was, you know, all very close racing, I think. Once they were side by side, all was fair in love and war in that one. I think that was uh, absolutely fine. What's happening here is this D-Man and Chris going into the Tambor Oh, no. You don't Irish, often see that. Yeah, Irish squirmishes never end well. No, they don't, do they? I tell you what, though, the, these two drivers, whenever they race each other, they, they've got some of the cleanest racing I've ever seen. But not today. <laughs> Apart from that bit. Yeah. <laughs> Lee, man, he's back behind Loopy McGee again. He's, uh, yeah, Loopy's having a bit of a, an entertaining race compared to Algarve. Yeah, he's getting in the mix nicely, isn't he? He's a newcomer, like you said. First race last time out, this is the second one. And he's making some steady progress, and he's holding off uh, uh, D-Man now, look. So, yeah, yeah, great performance here from Lupi, really getting stuck in. Yeah, that's good. D-Man, I'm sure he'll have the pace to get by. He, sort of, he was quicker earlier in the race, and he is quite, quite consistent. But to be fair, I think Lupi's just got to keep it clean. He might be able to nab himself a few extra points here. Absolutely, yeah, he's in 8th uh, position at the moment, he finished 10th at the first round, but he's really, uh, he's a clean driver isn't he, he keeps it consistent, he doesn't often go off on the on the grass, or at least not when we're watching, anyway, <laughs> oh, bit of grass there. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah apart from that bit. Apart from that bit there, yeah, yeah but, but the, someone, uh, the Scotsman is still ahead of the Irishman. Yeah, someone we haven't spoken about is the Welshman, Big Bad Wolf, he's trundling around in 10th place, but he's only 4 seconds behind these guys, I don't know, he, Obviously, drive through penalty, lost his lights when it was still dark, and all kinds of stuff. But I don't know, he's only a few seconds back. He might be able to get involved into this little battle and maybe nab himself a few points. Obviously, he was one of the main favourites for the Algarve race, running in second and challenging this guy here for the first few laps. He actually led the first few laps, did Big Bad Wolf. But uh, it's Stuart Davis found a sudden turn of pace, and he's not letting Sam get away at the moment. Yeah, he's really turned on the pace quite a bit. So he's uh, he's trying to just go along with Scuderia Sam. You can imagine now with just five minutes left, I don't think these two are going to be challenging the top three unless they all get involved in a scrap. But they're going to be driving as fast as they can just in case because you never know, do you? One of them could make a mistake. You want to be there to capitalise on it. So the only way is flat out. If in doubt, flat out. Yeah, that's it. We haven't talked about the top three actually. There's nothing really happened in this. Uh, Cherry Berry leading four seconds from Crazy Stewpot and then Alex CDL. Oh, D-Man got closer. Yeah, Alex CDL then. He's running third place, six seconds behind Crazy Stewpot. So this is actually the closest battle on the circuit at the moment. It is, and Crazy Stewpot's got some fantastic pace, isn't he? He's always the underdog for some reason in these cars, but he just quietly gets on with it, and he's in second there, and he's not too far behind Cherry Berry. If Cherry Berry made a mistake right now, he would be in with a chance of uh, nabbing the lead off him. So, yeah, it's not over yet, is it? And uh, D-Man 221 still pressurising Lupi Mukji, but Lupi Lupi Mukji staying nice and tidy. He's actually pulled out a bit of a gap, look. And uh, Big Bad Wolf, there he is. He'll be joining on before long as well, I'd imagine, in that Batmobile. Yeah, so he's sitting there thinking, uh, I'm coming to get you. It was a shame for Big Bad Wolf, because he had a great race at the Algarve, and uh, and uh, in the end he just made a little bit too many mistakes, a bit like that, really. And he went round, went round a couple of times, and that put him back down to, what was it in the end, fourth or fifth or something? Yeah, I think it was yeah, fourth in the end, and then of course we had that great finish where we had... Uh, yeah, 4th, 5th, 6th and 7th all crossed the line pretty much together. Yeah, yeah. 
So he's had the pace, and uh, here now he's jumped the start, and he's probably reacting to Scuderia Sam jumping the start, which I think is the first time he's done that. Big Bad Wolf has had a few flying starts. Um, but yeah, unfortunately for him, though, the first couple of races haven't gone quite right, and that's not really gone quite right, has it? For Chris Dorsey coming out of there, he's uh, doing a bit of drifting, and you never want to see that coming out of a corner in an LB2 car if you want to go fast. But he's ahead, look, of Alex Brown. Yeah, it's that pesky uh, yellow MP2 throwing banana skins down again. Yeah, probably. Uh, Stuart Davis, maybe. Oh, he's dropped off the back of Sam, maybe he's made a little mistake somewhere. But uh, Scooter here, Sam on a charge as ever. Like you said, you never know what's going to happen. He's got Alex CDL up ahead, so I'm expecting a spin replay at some point soon. Here is Alex. Even it cleans quite very quick through Ravazza, though, isn't he? Uh, sorry, uh, Aqua Minerali, sorry. Aqua Minerali, yeah, yeah. Mineral water. Strange name Mineral. for a corner. Yeah. Crazy but, stupid. Uh, pot. The Sounds in Italian. It was quite tidy for Crazy Shoe, wasn't it? It was very, like you said earlier, he's very, uh, he's very unspectacular, if not quick, in these cars. <laughs> he just quietly gets on with it, and uh, at this rate, he'll be sitting very far up the leaderboard. I'm not quite sure, maybe even seconds in, in the standings, depending on when they all finish. So, so yeah, he's really in with the shout, isn't he? And Alex, look, he's really chasing Chris. Yeah, I think there's still a bit more action to come in this race yet, in the last couple of laps. Yes, there's constantly something fizzing, and fizz, uh, fizzing away <laughs> in this track uh, uh, at this race. And Alex Brown is the fizzer at the moment, or the fizzy. Is he the fizzer or the fizzy? I'm not sure. But he's catching Chris anyway. And Chris goes a little bit wide there. You probably can see that bright yellow car approaching in his wing mirrors. And he's thinking, oh, no, come on. I just want a nice, quiet drive to sixth, please. Collect the points and go home. But Alex Brown is not that sort of driver, is he? No, certainly not. And I'm just looking at the time in it. I think uh, Cherry Bay may well actually be on the last lap already. Yeah, so yeah, it's looking like the time. It. I think you're right, Stuart. Yeah, that's it. So, of course, that time in the corner goes to the end of, uh, well, when all the drivers cross the line rather than when the leader crossed the line, so... And it looks like Crazy Stewpot has absolutely dropped off the back, look. And he, if anything, he's really close to uh, Alex EDL now. Look how close they are. Yeah, it's eight tenths of a second. Seconds, yeah, yeah, less than a second. So uh, it's really hotting up in lots of different areas of the circuit. Crazy Stewpot and Alex EDL there. Alex EDL though locks up, I think, trying to push hard to catch him. Uh, Scooter Sam's not quite close enough to have a look. Who's that? Oh, it's Big Bad Wolf. He's been lapped, I think, isn't he? Yeah, that's it. He's, well, <laughs> minute 37 off the lead now. Yeah, and Crazy Stewpot would be breathing an absolute sigh of relief there that Alex uh, CDL just threw it away a little bit in Aqua Minerali and Cherry Berry does a little bit of rally cross in the final corner and he powers out of it now in his uh, Ligier Nissan that he's gone for in the green car and he's coming across the line and Cherry Berry is going to remain undefeated at Imola after the first time we raced here, which he won as well. And he crosses the line and he takes the win. A uh, fantastic return for Cherry Berry there and he's really driven a great race. He's uh, completely outpaced his rivals, uh, or nearest rivals on the circuit today. And now we look back at the action. This is for, what's this for? What's this for? Uh, seventh? Se seventh, yeah. Eighth? Yeah, seventh and eighth. Look, D-Man versus Lupi McGee. Lupi McGee has uh, just fallen behind D-Man, so D-Man's got past somewhere. And Lupi yeah, McGee, Alex though, Brown's got back to and... ninth as well. Look. Yeah, what up... on earth has happened there? He was up with Chris a few laps ago. Yeah, Alex Brown's re really uh, messed up, hasn't he, somewhere? Who'd have thought? <laughs> well, we know Alex Brown, he's won race, he's competed for wins, he's won a race as well, and uh, he had that fantastic battle with Stuart Davis, which he, he defeated him in that race at uh, Daytona, wasn't it? Yeah, so he knows it. these cars, we, we know he's quick at this circuit, uh, uh, sorry, not this circuit, particularly in these cars, but unfortunately for him, he's made a mistake and he's back down to ninth. Is he going to try, though, go around the outside of the last corner? Now they're coming up to in Ravatsa, and Lupi McGee's still ahead of Alex. Alex is bumping his way across the grass, he's looking for the cut back, and he's got it. And they, uh, they're they looking at each other now, and Alex Brown's got the outside line. And <laughs> Lupi McGee's just edging him over to the grass. Oh, this is going to be close on the line. It's going to be a photo finish. Oh, both on the grass. And that's <laughs> who on earth got that one? I think Alex. My God. Yeah, it was Alex. It was Alex. Just ahead of Lupi, what a, what a finish that was. Fantastic stuff. Two photo finishes for Alex in four races, I think. Yeah, it's always an exciting finish when Alex Brown's about. Anyway, Cherry Berry wins that one, just ahead of Crazy Stewpot, uh, who stayed ahead of Alex in the end. Scuderia Sam and Stuart Davis had both uh, comeback drives there, but uh, Chris Doherty there as well, sixth, D Man, seventh, and uh, the stand in Stewart. Yeah, it's looking close, isn't it? You've got some drivers maybe who aren't as quick as some of the guys in the midfield at the moment, so it's going to be close over the next couple of races. 
Certainly is, and we're heading now to um, uh, Zolder, isn't it? So that's going to be a fantastic circuit to race on. So join us next time for the round three of the LMP2 Euro Championship.